Hello guys, so I'm creating this quick video tutorial to show you how to quickly install Carla and have everything ready and working on PyCharm. So without saying more, uh, first things first, um, we go to Carla website and we are going to be working with the version 0.9.11. Um, but another thing important to check is the get started um, guide from Carla. So in order to download the Carla API, you just click that. And in this case, we're going to be working on Windows. So when you click this, you're going to be downloading the um, zip file. I'm going to cancel it because I already have this zip file in my computer. So once you download and unzip the uh, Carla, this is the folder that we're gonna get. In this folder, uh, we're gonna have everything regarding the Carla API. So the next thing is to set up the PyCharm environment. So um, in order to do that, we open a project and we open the project on the uh, main folder that we just unzipped so the first thing to do is to set up the environment for that we go to settings we go to python interpreter and in here it's really important to have everything set up already, but uh, in order to set up this from zero, you just need to click in here and add a new environment. So I like working with a Conda environment. So we click here in Conda environment, we create a new environment. And the only thing we need to change from here is the Python version. Make sure that you have the Python version 3.7 and this will avoid a lot of issues with Carla. After that, you can click OK. I already did this. So um, something like this is going to appear. Um, and so that's it regarding setting up the environment. Um, to be able to work with Carla. And the next thing we're gonna do is to install the necessary packages to be able to run Carla. Uh, what are those necessary packages? Well, from the Carla website, we will find out that the necessary uh, packages are this PyGain and NumPy. So we just copy and paste and install this. I already have this packages installed. So um, so yeah, nothing's going to happen. Um, the next thing uh, is to check that actually the um, Carlo environment is, is, is able to work. And if we follow the guide again it's really simple on windows we just run this command right so we can copy and paste that and if everything is working properly and if you have the correct um device you're gonna get this window Right, so once we have this window of an empty environment, an empty town, uh, what we basically have is the server simulator running and waiting basically for a client to connect and interact with this world. So what that means is that we can uh, run the other files in order to add um, many, many things to this world. And so one of the quick examples we can try in order to add things is um, actually we can add cars and pedestrians. And 
to do that, um, we need to go to the examples folder, right? And in the example folder, we have the spawn NPCs, and we can add um, a certain numbers of NPCs to this environment. And that's really simple. Once we are in the examples folder, we just need to type Python. Ooh, what's this? Okay, now let's just go to the folder, uh, Python, and then examples. And when we're here, we type Python spawn and pcs.py. And we can specify the number of NPCs, let's say 100. And it's going to take a little bit of time, depending on your machine. But once we have that, boom, we have 100 vehicles and 32 walkers. And this is really cool because we can add. Um, as much as NPCs as, as we can. So the next cool quick thing that we can do in order to show that everything is ready and working is to actually um, run this manual control file. So to do that, again, you just type Python and then manual control but actually let's run the manual control car sim and it's going to take again a little bit of time but once we have that we can actually run oof it's going to be this slow i think it's because i'm recording as well but um but yeah, okay, now it's better. Um, yeah, we can do a lot of cool things. Uh, we can, here are basically the, um, some sort of commands to add that. But okay, the thing is that once you have, once you are able to run these commands and, and get these windows and have your car and be able to run the car manually, you're basically mostly ready to start coding and creating your machine learning algorithms. So this is it. This is the end of the tutorial. Okay. Hope you like it. Bye.